everyone, it is Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group and today we're going to be showing you how to sell cryptocurrency at a Bitcoin ATM. So if you're looking to buy cryptocurrency, make sure you go watch our other video which shows you how to use these machines to buy cryptocurrency. But like I said, today we're going to be showing you how to sell. Again, to find a coin ATM near you, you can go to coinatmradar.com and it'll show you a local map of all your ATMs in your area. Again, you can always check on this website and see what coins they offer as well as what their fees on the ATMs are. Watch out for high fees. There's a lot of ATMs that charge ridiculous fees out there. Today, I'm going to be selling $20 worth of Litecoin to show you guys how that works since the process is a little bit different from buying crypto at one of these machines. I'm going to click on Litecoin. I'm going to hit sell. Now, it's going to ask me if I'm a politically exposed person. Depending on what ATM you're using in what state or what country, they're going to ask a few different questions. I'm going to hit no on this, and then it's asking me if I want to sell up to $300 worth or more than $300 worth. Again, depending on your state or countries, know your customer laws. You might have to scan your driver's license or put in some information about yourself. So make sure to do some research and figure out what KYC laws are in place in your state or wherever you're at. So in today's case, I'm just doing up to $300. Now it's going to say, choose an amount. How much Litecoin do you want to sell? I'm just going to sell $20, so I'm going to hit this plus 20. And then over here, it's going to show me the chosen amount, 20 US dollars, which equals 0 0.09503 Litecoin, which is how much I want to sell. So obviously you're going to need the coin that you're selling on a crypto wallet. If you haven't watched a video on how to set up a crypto wallet, we do have one on our channel. So make sure to click the link in the description and get a wallet set up. I do have my wallet and I've got some Litecoin here in this trust wallet and I want to sell it. Again, I'm selling $20 worth. If you want to sell more, you can click these buttons here or if you accidentally click too much, you can always click the minus one button over here get it back to how much you want to sell now I'm gonna hit sell this machine in particular does have text messaging information to let you know when your transactions ready when you're selling crypto the machine is gonna to have to make sure that your coin goes through all the blockchain confirmations first before it actually spits the cash out to you so it is a good idea to have it send you text messages in case it does take a while the selling process can take a little bit longer than the buying process it might take 30 minutes to an hour sometimes um, so go ahead and enter in your phone number here now what it says is processing transaction completed. Good, we are almost done. You have requested to sell 0 0.0959 Litecoin for 20 US dollars. So now it says you need to send the Litecoin to us within 120 minutes. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna print out this receipt here. Now on this receipt, I have a QR code, which is gonna be a destination address for Litecoin that leads to this ATM. So this is where I'm gonna to have to send my Litecoin to in order to get the cash. And it tells you exactly how much to send right here. I need to send 0 0.095944 Litecoin to this address or this barcode. Now it is imperative that you send exactly that amount. If you send too much, chances are you might not be able to get the excess amount back. Also, one thing to keep in mind, if you're withdrawing from a crypto exchange like Coinbase or Binance or Kraken, KuCoin, one of those online exchanges, exchanges usually have a withdrawal fee. So if I wanted to withdraw from Coinbase or Binance, for example, and sent exactly that amount, when it actually gets to the ATM, I'm gonna be short on the Litecoin because the exchange took out a fee that I wasn't expecting. So you wanna make sure that you either send enough to cover the fee or you send the crypto to this machine directly from a wallet since wallets aren't gonna charge unexpected withdrawal fees. It'll be charged in the network fee, but that's already calculated in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my trust wallet and I have my Litecoin here and I'm gonna hit send. Cause again, I wanna send the Litecoin to this machine so it can give me cash. Now, my, my Trust Wallet app does have an option to scan a QR code. So all I'm gonna do is scan this QR code on the receipt. And the QR code actually has contained information that will automatically pull up the amount of Litecoin you need to send to. But if it doesn't do that, just make sure to type in the exact amount you need to send. And you're gonna go ahead and hit next, confirm, and now it's pending. Again, like I mentioned earlier, the Litecoin is going to have to go through the necessary amount of blockchain confirmations before this machine will give us cash. And that's why we gave the machine our phone number because it will text us when it is ready. I'll wait for that text and I'll see you guys shortly. All right, so I just got the text that my cash withdrawal is ready. So here I've got my ticket. I'm going to come to the machine and I'm going to pick whatever coin I was selling. Again, it was Litecoin. But this time I'm going to hit redeem ticket. Again, some machines might look a little bit different, but they should have very similar verbiage wording. Now for the ticket, again, the camera is going to open up again here and it says scan the QR code on your redemption ticket to withdraw the cash. So that's going to be this QR code again here. I'm going to hold that in front of the camera. And 
and then bam, just like that, I got my 20 bucks, I got my receipt, and I'm on my way. Super simple, how to sell cryptocurrency at a Bitcoin ATM. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything from it, make sure to leave a like on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and make sure to subscribe so you can catch our future videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next time.